Hi everybody, welcome back to the fifth session of motion. In this session, I am going to discuss about drawing displacement vectors. What is this one? How to draw a displacement vector from one point to another point? We will discuss. Before getting into this one, we know that displacement means what? Actually, drawing a straight line, otherwise the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. What is a displacement? Displacement is nothing but a, the shortest distance between the initial position to the final position is called as displacement. Now let's see that. We will take some examples right now. For example, there is a point A. From this point, a body might have moved to certain direction and after that it reaches to point B and after that it reaches to nothing but it changes its direction and reaches to point C. Now actually this is the path of the distance. How do you draw the displacement vector to this one? Let's see this one. Actually what is the displacement? Displacement is nothing but a, the shortest distance from initial position to the final position. What is the initial position of this body? A is the initial position. What is the final position of the body? C is the final position. If you draw a straight line from initial position to the final position carefully then it is called as nothing but a which one displacement vector what is this one displacement vector what is the reason means this is the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position let's take one more example here for example if a body moves like this it started from a point x and reaches to a point y. This is the path of the actual path followed by the body. So this is the distance. Then how do you draw the displacement vector to this one? We said that displacement means the shortest distance from the initial position to the final position. So take it from the initial position to final position. This is x is the initial position, y is the final position. Now you draw a line, straight line to that point. Then this is called as nothing but which one? Displacement vector. What is this one? This is called as a displacement vector because it is having a particular direction and it is the shortest distance. Let's see a few more examples. For example, a person started from this point. T and reaches to another point Q and reaches to another point R and reaches to another point EQ R yes. So this is actually the path he followed by the body. For this point they asked you to draw a nothing but a displacement vector. How do you draw? This is the E is the initial point. S is the final point. Now if you draw a line by combining P and S, this is called as nothing but a, which one? Displacement vector. So you need not to go like this because initial position to the final position, if you draw a straight line, it is the best example of nothing but a displacement vector. Let's see one more example and after that we will close this session. Let's see this one. For example, we start at point Yeah. and moving lines and reaches to the point yeah. Can you say the displacement vector to this point? Yes, this is very easy. You need not to go like this or uh, in this path. What should you do? You have to draw a straight line from M to N. Then this path is called as nothing but a which one? Displacement vector. What is this one? Displacement vector. In this way, we can draw the displacement vectors to any figure which was given in our textbooks or in our exams. Just you should remember only one point for drawing these displacement vectors. What is the initial position? What is the final position? 
then select the point of initial position to the final position and draw a straight line then you can get which one means a displacement vector thanks to everybody for watching let's go for the 